of shit like this. It's uh, it's the best thing ever. and stuff in the background as I always do for reasons. Just as I wait for this thing to come back to life, which I'm pretty sure it has by this point. Whether I need to wait for it to do that at all in the first place is, uh, is frightfully upsetting, but I mean, whatever. Twitch will always be Twitch, I suppose, but anyway. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we just picked up a couple of blueberries from this tree, and I'm, uh, I'm a little conflicted about whether or not I want to actually go into battle with that enemy, because I'm pretty sure that can uh, completely wreck me at this moment. If it so chooses to... well, maybe not. I should have, like, enough health that I can at least survive one attack of it, but... I guess I should try to get into uh Oh shit. I've no idea what to <laughs> Oh, they do like one damage each. <laughs> I didn't even need to do anything. I was gonna say I have no idea what to do to try and block that attack, but then I realized that I wouldn't even have to do that, but yeah, I guess. Guess we'll uh um... We'll take a chance here. Hold on. This is pretty much the, the enemy that you have to try and take down if you're going to to get experience in the post game. This is an amazing daisy. They're so rare that they're also called the legendary crazy daisies. They get much HP of 20 and attack power of 20. So, there you go. You almost always flee at their first chance. It would be nice to beat one, but be careful because their attacks will fucking murder you if you're not. Uh, I don't know what you're expecting, so we'll go with the hammer. I'll at least make the attempt even though I really... yeah, no, I didn't think so. I pretty much need to come with a strategy whenever you encounter one of those. Hmm. Let's see, did I miss any...? Oh, there's one here, but what about this one? Did I miss anyone of those here? Apparently not, alright. Well, where are we now? If you, look, if you like flowers, this is the place to be. Look at all the foliage. By the way, blue trees produce bubbleberries. Well, we do need one of those to uh, at least sure we were managed, we managed to determine, so... Oh, I don't want this. Oh, well, whatever. Let's get rid of it. If, uh, if it ends up taking up... Uh, taking up too much room. Yeah, there's obviously supposed to be water here, but we can't actually get to the bubble tree yet. And what about this? Looks like there hasn't been water here in a while. And there's just one flower, however, he said. This be the place with the water that uh, we were he hearing about earlier, I guess. That's like a lotus flower, so... Would make sense for it to want to be in water. What do we have here? It's a jam and jelly, which is I'm pretty sure one of the rarest items in the game, because it's stores a ridiculous amount of FP, so we should absolutely save that. What do we have here? Lily. She says that she's guarding this spring. You get the sense that she's easily distracted. Off on her own little world a lot of the time, it's kind of a problem if you want to get any information from her. Well, seems to be drift too drift off even while you're talking to her. Well, let's confirm that, why don't we? How oh, horrible. Spring went dry. What a tragedy. This can't happen to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody, the horrible thing that rides the clouds, took her precious water stone. Hmm. Water flows from that magical water stone, so it's like the, one of those stones from the, shant the first Shanta game. Without it, the spring will never recover. And I'll wither up if I can't float in the water. Oh, I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither, poor Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. Oh. Oh. Prince. Well, he actually looks more like a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in this spring. To tell you the truth, I have to ask you to do me a favor. 
you please get my water stone back from the horrible cloud creature? Oh, how awful. You weren't my prince. Well, I knew you must not be. After all, you don't look anything like a prince. There you go. In case you care, the water stone looks like this. If I find it somewhere, please bring it to me, whether as we speak. Well, can we? I guess we don't get a do over <laughs> with that. The choices are just like a completely whatever. Condition will only get worse if the spring's water never comes back. I've been punished for being too pretty, uh... Well, we know about that now, and we did manage to get blueberries, so... I guess we already know where we're supposed to be. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Where we're supposed to be going next. I can't actually jump over this tiny, tiny fence, can we? Can't get in the background, no matter what we do. <laughs> Find a few more of these crazy daisies up here. Guess we'll but I will try to get a first strike and completely beat the night. Not that it matters because we can just it's one of them so we can just get some free experience by wrecking it in the first round. <laughs> Ooh. Honey syrup, even though that's gonna be not really very useful at this point. Oh damn. So like one enemy encounters here because it's just like free experience pretty much at this point. Yeah, just managed to get one strike yet at least. Not that it literally makes any difference because we can just wreck them in one round anyway. Even if we didn't land it like every other time. Look at that, we're almost halfway to the next level. This might be the highest level I've ever been when playing this game, honestly. Oh shit, did we actually pull off the... Yeah, we did. Only makes a very small difference, though, honestly. But it will make a bigger difference when we get the uh, best versions of the beats, but... Here's the X-Factor one. Here's the one that you weren't expecting, but... Uh, what shall we do? We should... Do something... We could do Star Storm, but they'll survive that. Hmm. Do Chill Out... I guess if we do Chill Out, I think we'll probably just... Uh, disable their ability to hurt me completely, though they might still put me to sleep, but... Exactly how this is gonna go. Like, I'm guessing they're still gonna be able to put me to sleep, even though I don't think they're gonna be able to hurt me with this anymore. Okay, yeah, there we go. This might take a while just because of how fucking long it's gonna take for each of these attack animations to come out. Because this is an opportunity for me to practice the timing on the block. I guess the trick is to figure out when the last of those notes is coming out, and then when you identify the last one, that's your, um, your cue to press the button. So I managed to pull it off twice there. Oh, I don't know. 
all these coins that we got from our amazing battle prowess. Well, I guess we wanted to forget about this block, but that's the reason we wanted to come all the way up here. And what shall we upgrade? I think we'll upgrade Bow next. I think she might have the uh, highest damage potential in her fully upgraded state. Assuming that the enemy doesn't have any um, defense. Alright. Of course, we can't actually get through yet because we need Paracarry or Usury yet. Because we need Paracarry to get across here. I'm paranoid about missing at this point, so I'll just do it this way for the rest of the way. There we go. I shall bring her out. I think uh, well, we're gonna get rid of both of the blueberries that we have right now. What do they do? 5 FP. Okay, so the blue ones. Restore FP, the red ones restore HP, and the yellow ones do uh, like half and half. So, yeah, here we go. Something succulent. Blueberry, I'm sure this will be gross. Oh, well, much chunk, much. Oh, how delicious. I just played a taste. There are good blue things. I'm filled with hope again. Go, go, I never feel blue. I'll never forget you. Okay, so they still actually. <laughs> That feeling, little thing. Da ba da ba da, etc., etc. Oh fuck! I think we want to go that way just yet, though. At least not before we bring out uh, barrier again. But no, I think uh, we're just gonna head back over to the east side just so that we can go to the well again. I don't know if I want to bother with it. I guess I will. Big fights in this place that I've already cleared out. Now. Let me figure out in this state how much damage a bow bow can do. It's like six damage. Yes, pretty much the same as Gumbari, honestly. It's not that different. I guess we might as well grab as much of this scratch experience as we can. Take a void of flower enemies, drop flower points with. Here we are again. Well, this is where this flower is, but what we actually want to do is come all the way over here and yeah. This will bring out the Mario real quick, just for whatever might happen. I don't know. Oh, in the blueberry. Sniffle, who's throwing stuff down into my well? Huh? This is a blueberry. I love these, thank you. Give this to you in return. Oh, there we go. I guess that was the whole point of that. Power saver badge. During battle, saves one FP every time you attack. It's a well. I guess we can't get anything more out of the well. Now. So yeah, our quest to collect every badge in the game. Well, apparently it's still there. I don't know if we'd like bring more. Nope, we're not allowed to bring any more. Or even talk to that thing again. Whatever it is. Yes, it's just gonna be there in wallowing its own, in its own misery for the rest of the game, and there's nothing we can do about it. That's, uh, that's an interesting... ...in 2% to you. Still haven't successfully blocked one of these attacks. Uh, 
in a situation where we will take damage and we don't block it. So I'm entirely satisfied with my my crazy daisy attack blocking prowess here. So the enemies definitely respawn after you go all the way to the world screen. I'm not sure if that was gonna come out in time, but there we go. Doing perfectly perfect in the survivability department so far, I guess. There is that. to the middle and now that we've uh, taken care of that little optional thing over on the east side I guess we actually will head over to this direction straight west do you have anything I want to say now that, now that I've exploited the uh, now that we've exploited the the hints that it gave us before the only thing that puts is got a soil guy just soil it definitely doesn't have anything beautiful no way there you go. What else? Okay, we already know about that. There's lots of the trees here, we already know about that. And now she's talking about mostly only having soil. I get the feeling we're gonna have to go back there at some point, but right now let's uh let's go in this place where the spinies are gonna be hanging out, I guess. Oh boy. Let's scan them and see what the, uh, what the deal is here. This is a spiny, they have spikes on their shells that are pretty sharp. HP is 5, attack power is 4, and defense power is 3. Can run into spiny eggs and slam into you. It'd be much easier to fight them if you can flip them over, the defense power falls to 0, but uh, we got rid of all our power blocks, even though I did vaguely remember that these fuckers are gonna be here. Would have made it. Oh, oh we can uh, hit him in, kill him in one round anyway if we do the actual charged hammer attack, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm wondering if, uh, since they have 5 HP, if it would be a good option to uh, take out like what and have her attack. I took a tell from the screen too. Look at all the flowers, even the flowers blooming along the road are beautiful here in the flower fields. I've literally run out of stuff to say about background at this point, is what uh, that script is telling me. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Come on. Actually, what happens if we... Nothing, I guess. It's not yet. Like, why is that friggin' springboard in the middle of the road like that? And I still don't know the answer for that. Let's see what happens if we... this enemy with what? Okay, so what doesn't get hurt by the spikes? Because I guess it doesn't count as like a jump-like attack. So now we're actually actually perfectly fine when it comes to dealing with these fires. Dang it, I thought I hit that in time. But your hammer's definitely powerful enough that we can just... Deliver that deliverance to them. In idea of how high their defense is. Oh, what do we got here? The hedge maze, I guess. But first, let's have a bit of a cutscene here, I guess. Hey, where did you drop it, idiot? Half and puff will have our clouds if we don't find it. Oh, man, I'm so clumsy that stone gave out an endless supply of water. Without it, we can't increase the power of the puff puff machine. However, Gotta be around here somewhere, it's just gotta be. 
What? Is that Mario? Look on, it's Mario. Well, let's look for the stone later. Let's go rough this dude up. And sure, I'm not sure I'm you know, in the right mental state. We'll get it all fight anyway. Here it comes, Mario. Alright, so forced mini boss fight against Lagitus and. and the Spinies, I guess. It is a Lagitu. They're strange Koopas that can ride clouds. Much HP is 12, attack power is 3, defense power is 0. Those are the Spiny eggs. He sometimes turned the crawling spinies, so... Yeah. I'm pretty sure that means we need to focus on them first, rather than... Spinies. Seems like these Lagitus have been hassling you for your entire career, Mario, so... Tell you what, I'll take a chance and do the power bounce, see if I can... get rid of this dude in one turn. There we go. Even if I screw up. Which will happen eventually. Yeah, there we go. We'll get rid of that guy in one turn, so that's nice. Damn it. Damn it. So I definitely need to hit that a little bit ahead of time when Spideys are rolling against me from the ground, so... And hit that dude. Get rid of him this turn, and uh, we don't need to worry about the enemies replenishing at this point anymore. So I guess we'll just skip turn with Gambario. And there we go. We defeated the plot mandated mini boss encounter. Which you can truly get prepared for. Oh boy, we're one one star point away from leveling up again. There we went. <laughs> Does the thumbs up gesture, but it's completely covered up by the foreground. It's a hedge maze. Hope we don't get lost. I'm not very good at mazes, still I know you'll get through all right, so... I'll have to see, because you can... Like, the visual indicators aren't really that consistent when it comes to... Figuring out, figuring out what you can walk on, what you can walk through, but... Well, we can walk through a lot of these, so it seems. Hmm, I could go into these red pipes. I'm guessing that we probably will have to, to actually... Better than if we go into this one all the way back here. Actually, get through the end of this. It just put me back on like the top right. It did. Okay, just checking. Go into this one up here. Puts me in like this below end. And uh, it just enables me to go all the way back to the beginning, but maybe we can. I don't know, find a different way through. And he thinks we're gonna have to end up. Discovering a uh, not so evident wall that we can walk through. It's hugging the walls right now. There we go. Well, there it is, but yeah, if we go back here, it just puts me back into the, the pipe loop that I already know it. But I guess we have to go all the way around here to get into the, Well, not all the way around, but close to it to get into that pipe in the middle. I wonder where that's gonna leave me, but might as well try to explore a little more on foot here. That's probably gonna put me on the actual far end of the maze. What's, uh... Where's this block hiding, I wonder? How do I get to that? I walk straight down into it, or...? Apparently I can't approach it from the top side. I can't approach it from the right. I can't approach it from down here, either, so... I guess we're gonna have to assume that we have to go all the way to the end to actually reach that. And so we shall. There we go. That's in here, it's just a bunch of coins. And where does this put us at the end? No rose gardens. Roses are just the best, although they do have thorns, don't they? Well, yeah, they're apparently quite ripe for symbolism in that regard. All the most beautiful flowers have thorns, at least that's what they say. I don't know who they are, but... I guess they is the collective um, voice of popular culture and opinion, or something like that. Something very... Something that uh, doesn't really need to be expounded upon in this context, but I do it anyway because I'm pedantic like that, but... 
Do you know a rose called Rosie? She loves it here in the garden. She's pretty full of herself. Yeah, she thinks she's the prettiest of all the flowers. She's quite beautiful. She has a strange way of, way of expressing herself, though, as we're about to find out, no doubt. It's like ages since I last saw a visitor here, and yeah, I guess all the all the big flowers at the end of the roads have like their own variation on this theme. This melody. Rosie or Rose Spirit, I'm ever so glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom and there's nobody to look at me. Oh. Please admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? Well, we already were addicted to the other flowers, so... I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be so coy. Oh, well. I can tell you're too shy to compliment me to my face. Okay, then praise this instead. Check it out. This stone, isn't it beautiful? Found it just the other day and yeah, we know that's exactly what we need. The strange creatures on clouds dropped it. Couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. Hmm, what did you say? Should give you this stone. You're saying Lily's in trouble without this. How very sad. Well, it can't be helped. This stone is mine now, you see. Screw the other flower. We Lily will wither up without this stone. Hmm, how sad, Lily. How very pitiful. I just used to believe that Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. Well, she's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there will be no flowers to set off my beauty. Let's see, tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it, but... But if you don't, then I'll just let her die. That's the kind of a uh, deal we're doing here. You better bring something more beautiful in a hurry before I change my mind. You may never change, but my mind easily does. Oh. There you go. It's kind of a... Kind of completely hostile Alice in Wonderland nonsense you're dealing with here. I don't know. Honestly, can't say if, um, can't say that with full earnestness just because it's been like fucking long. I think I read Alice in Wonderland when I was in like middle school. It wasn't even the original; it was a translation. So I, I don't honestly remember whether uh, the, uh, the whole thing with the flowers being very conceited and being very caustic is like true to the original work, to what degree. Oh no, I don't have what out. Hmm. Can't change member with the uh, the partner right here again, right? So do this first. And yeah, if we don't die in this combat, uh, in this battle we're gonna level up, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna be perfectly fine. I'm pretty sure at this pace it's not quite not even gonna be possible for me to die. We're gonna be just fine. I need to survive that one turn and now we can clean up. Points. I feel like I'm gonna get one more upgrade for my HP and then whatever. Next time I'm gonna upgrade my flower points again. Because I feel like I'm definitely not using the you no know, the uh, special skills as much as I should be. At this point, having more HP will give me more peace of mind. <laughs> so let's see, after that last level up, which I think put us at level 17. We now get uh Get only one flower or star point from each encounter with these things. Each one of them killed, so things are definitely gonna be slowing down now. Maybe we might as well try to uh, try to be thorough with getting rid of them though. Okay, we already heard about Posey having something beautiful, and I'm trying to remember though that. I don't remember exactly which way to go to find her. I think it was this way. Wasn't it? Because it's like first we went east and that's where the, the first flower was and then we open up this way. Oh shit. Oh, oh we hit by the first strike even though I was the jumping motion. Oh, there you go. That's, what, that's how much it hurts to have the, uh, the bee hit you with normal attack. That's actually the first time that's happened in this... Uh, in this run. So 
I'll avoid that again. And he also managed to block the, the Rough Puffs attack for the first time ever, so. so that's two nice things, two, two or two, not two nice things, one not so nice thing, and one actually nice thing to happen. Quick succession. gonna be able to go by it, because I think I'm definitely getting to the point where I don't necessarily want to bother with every fight. Because of the diminishing returns, but... I almost forgot to prepare for that. I did not forget to prepare for that with the second one, but it didn't make a difference anyway. that attack and just a lot of these attacks you need to not do it right as it happens but like a little bit before <laughs> well since we're not gonna need these berries anymore we might as well just eat a couple just so we can heal I mean for all I know we're gonna need these berries for like some kind of recipe but I know. You can just easily come back here and get them. And here we are again. Pretty sure I went the right way. Came the right way. Hey, guess what? Rosie told you to bring her something beautiful. Oh, she really loves beautiful things above all else. She's a little self-involved, have you noticed? Well, you really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots, so maybe... Oh, whoops. Maybe one of one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake the roots. Here we go. Oh uh, yeah. And there's one. Oops, I was a bit unladylike. Oh. But I should be more than satisfied with that berry, so we think. And there we go. Glittering, glittering berry made of crystal, which yeah, I guess is pretty much the same level. Why not that crystal berry, didn't she? Shouldn't you give it to her? Oh, she's so selfish, all she cares about is beauty. Even though Flower Fields is in terrible trouble, she only cares about how she might make herself more beautiful. Yeah, it's appalling, really. I think we've already been over that. In, maybe not in too much deliberation, but we definitely noticed that. Uh, that characterization trend. And yeah, even the super happy flower world is actually kind of crappy when you look at the actual things that you gotta deal with within. But let's see. It's, we need to, waste, need to go straight left, right? Hold on a second. Yo, what do we find? Oh yeah, we need the bubble thing to go this way. Gotta have to remember that. But in order to get back there to the plot place, I guess we will we will just have to I'll try to avoid combat now. To get back to the plot place we're just gonna have to um come this way, come straight west. Repeat the path that um uh, Figured out previously, and here we are again. Oh boy. We found anything, I suppose we have. Oh, pretty, I love it. It's much nicer than this ugly old stone. Well, better hurry back and give this stone to Lily. Make sure she knows that she was saved because of me. Make her worship the ground I live on, I guess. There we go, the water stone. Now we can open up the bookstore in London. Such loveliness. I've gotten so beautiful that I'm starting to scare myself. Well, there's the most beautiful flower in, flower in all the flower fields, and it's me, of course. I guess you can just leave her here to repeat the. This kind of a. Uh, kind of sanity slipping spiel to herself. Hmm. 
It'll be difficult to aim this little spin attack thing to... Oh shit, right there, fine. <laughs> Never actually able to see where you're going. Oh, we were forced into this encounter, so we might as well deal with it. At least we have the appropriate partner out to make this pretty easy. Expecting to be able to level up again by before the end of this chapter. At this rate, but I gotta know. For this count us a little bit over leveled, level 17 at this point. Who knows? Oh, do we have any new updates from this fucker here? Yeah, we knew that already. We knew that already. Mr. High and Mighty, an ideal day for gardening. You know, it's the perfect reason for growing giant beanstalks, they're simple. All you need is magical beans, some soil and some water. Yeah, that's it, you don't need anything else at all, nothing. <laughs> oh, there you go. Can't tell you anymore, not even if you ask, I guess that's new information. <laughs> so let's hit the save block real quick, and then... And return over to the... Place where we need to leave the water stone that would be down here if it came. It's alright, gotta try to do this the normal way until we're required to use Paracarry here. Well, I mean, we knew previously that we need the soil, we need the water, which I guess we're about to get the water, and we need the bean, which is the first thing that we got. <laughs> But yes, surprise, surprise, looks like we're gonna be needing something else as well. That's what's uh, going to involve going over to where the. wherever the bubble flower can take us, I guess. Yeah, I brought you the thing. It's the water stone. Quickly put it in that hole there, right then. Just plop it in there. It sits above the hole, not really in it. Ten we to this very long shot of uh, the spout rising up. And there we go, now we can actually get to the bubble tree. <laughs> water, sweet water. Spring is full of water, I'm floating again. This is paradise. Well, thank you so very much. I'll give you some miracle water from the spring. Here you are. But you couldn't have just grabbed that yourself. Very cold water, it glitters in the sun. Most nourishing water around. It's water with a little lily extract. Well, did we need to know that. If you use this, this miracle water on any plant, it'll grow like gangbusters. But not right now, because there's no sun. Yeah, there's that little detail, too. Great idea, you should go see about getting the sun back into the sky, that's like the final step here. A resourceful guy like you must have some idea about how to get the sun back up again. But you'll do it, you saved me after all. Alright, so let's... First grab the thing that we need to grab from here. I wonder if you worry, it's like any new things to say that the water's turned back on. Blue trees produce bubble bears, yeah. Guessing that, uh, no, that message is not dynamic. Oh wait, this one is. The looks have been terrible in spring, huh? It's much more beautiful here when there's water flowing. You think this water flows to all parts of flower fields? Who knows? Or that this water is absolutely bursting with healthy nutrients. Hmm, well. Talk to her again, the water in the spring is back to normal. It feels so good to float. But if the sun doesn't come up, we'll all wither up anyway. I'm going to go all the way to the sun tower and give the sun a little support. Oh, nobody ever thinks of the sun's feeling, it's, it's probably sad. But we're so caring, I could almost cry. That looks like the tunnel that you get when you tunnel hair isn't actually changed. Yeah, let's actually go and move around. Mm, 
Got a bubble berry from the bubble tree. Restores 5 HP. I just will grab two of them. I think I'm gonna need the other one. Well, not slowly, necessarily, but I just another one of those. I don't think we're well equipped at all to deal with uh, trying to... Trying to uh, take on the Amazing Daisy right now, though, so I don't think we're gonna bother trying to pick a fight with it. I don't think we need to do this anymore at this point, but I'm paranoid. Well, I took the chance anyway. Oh yeah, now we go to the northwest temperature and uh, eventually try to deal with the... Uh, to deal with getting the sun back, because we have all the other ingredients that we need right now. And interact with this pot at all yet, but well, let's talk to the tree and see what he has to say. Lack of sunshine completely robs us of our vigor. If these clouds continue, we'll all likely wither up. If only I could move around and take a journey to the sun tower to cheer the sun up. I was going to tell that to one of these, uh, you know, these mobile flowers, because like apparently some of them are just completely, well most of them here are just completely rooted to the ground, but apparently some of them aren't, They can, but they just hang out here in the middle, so it's all completely, um, completely futile. Name's Bubble Plant, you want to know why my name's Bubble Plant? I'll tell you if you give me a bubble berry. Oh, I have two of them, so there you go. Awesome, good going. You get a lot of this. Isn't that great? You can just write that across. Now that it makes it uh, terribly obvious, but hey, what else are you gonna do with that? And then you can't really move around until that thing pops, so you can't avoid uh, getting rushed by the freaking bees. You know what? I think I'll I'll tattle this dude on the second round. First, I'll get rid of the bees, just to ensure that they don't get them. I'm getting there. They don't get any attacks off. What are you gonna do? Oh, he just ran away. Oh, never fucking mind, I guess. I guess I just didn't get to tattle him. Unless maybe he comes back if I repeat that uh, encounter. I guess I should probably do that, or try to do that. I'm guessing we can go back over to the... Um, oh, okay. Over to the start if we... Go this way, and indeed we can, but I guess I'll just go this way again. I say again, as if, um, wonders never cease. Well, as if I had gone this way before, but I hadn't. This area is full of flowers. Red flowers, blue flowers, yellow flowers, even orange flowers are blooming. Well, they all look like yellow-orange to me, the generic patches of them. Looks like there are a lot of lakitus in bloom, too. You're telling me, even though we can't see them yet. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, they can, like, spawn spinies on the overworld to attack you. We got the shooting star. Attack power of six. There you go, and there's a badge. I do wonder how we're going to um, try and obtain that. I no longer wonder as hard how we're going to try and obtain that. There we are. Mega Smash hammers an enemy with a huge amount of attack power. I should probably uh, keep that in. I should probably keep that in the back of my mind, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not going to be good at all with. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna be good at all with coming up with specific batch builds, but it's good to have all of them anyway. And here's the sun tower, and here's the only place in the game where you hear this music, which uh, is another pretty cool track, but that only ever plays here, and that doesn't even get listed in the uh, the game soundtrack. So this is where the sun comes to rest. Do you think it's waiting here or being forced to stay? Oh, I wonder, but. I guess we're not actually able to climb up here if we try. We just have to... Have to get rid of that rock down there to actually... To 
I'm gonna actually do something here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm guessing we're not actually gonna be able to go punch that truck, and she's gonna open up another way here, yeah, because it would be kinda weird to open up a passage way to or the room that clearly doesn't look like it's supposed to be accessed by us. And here's the sun. Just hanging out here. Some people call it the Blessed Sun. It's a source of life for flowers and trees. If it doesn't come out, eventually all plants will grow away. Sunshine makes me happy too, all good for you. Don't share that sentiment. Hey, hello. Never thought anybody would come all the way up here, especially after my week in Nicaragua, but... I'm the sun. No, that's not entirely true. I should say I was the sun. Clouds that came out of the Puff Puff machine that Huff and Puff built. Those clouds keep me from climbing into the sky. Complete fate for us, sun. All those flowers and plants in flower fields are suffering and I can't do shit, I guess. Where is the team in the Puff Puff machine? Oh, I think it's east of here. The clouds seem to come from over there anyway. Why do you want to know? Also, how do we determine which way is east when the uh, when the sun doesn't even make it into the sky? Why do you f do you think you can break the puff of machine? There's no way. Don't strain yourself. You might as well go home. Well, there you go. Those clouds were gone. I could rise right into the sky and bathe all the poor plants with sunshine. But I guess we needed that information before we were able to do anything more. Yeah, we weren't, we're not quite able to do anything here at this time. We just kind of have that conversation. I don't think that after we try to make our way back to the center after we have that conversation. You might notice that lucky too that was over there is gone. I'm pretty sure there's a reason for that, yep. Hey, 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 hold up. Wait, man. Oh, I forgot about this fucking theme song. Hey, man. Don't think we've ever met, have we? I mean, you're Mario, right? My name's Lackalester. Or no, it's Michael. No, um... <laughs> oh yeah, Spike. Yeah, yeah, I'm Spike. Oh, well, whatever, never mind. Okay, I don't have a problem with you personally, but I've got orders from Hufflepuff. Remember, I have to give you a bit of a beatdown, like I said, man, sorry. Oh, did I sound cool? Oh yeah, totally cool. Here it comes, man. No regrets. And here he is. Spike, question mark. He said his name was Spike. Seems to be a lucky dude, but he's the weirdest one I've ever seen. Max HP is 50, which is kind of a lot. But we'll deal with him promptly. Attack power is 4, defense power is 0, he throws spiny eggs. Is it just me or did he call himself Spike, Michael, and Lucky Lester, but an odd guy? I have to wonder just what his real name is. Oh. Guessing that the uh, number's not a joke, so let's just go ahead and start with, <laughs> with that and then just fail immediately. Oh, we have plenty of, uh, to keep trying that at least. And we have plenty of HP to, you know, have room for error here, so... We can do it with, uh, fucking the Mario 2, so... I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I don't know how that is to be missed. I wasn't expecting it to miss that quickly, honestly, but... Let's with, with, uh, do it with Gumbario now. That's a lot faster paced. Actually, managed to block it that time. Yeah. Ooh. I missed. Then how come I managed to do damage anyway? That's weird. Damn it! No. Being progressively worse than that. And I'm clearly. If you look at the animation, I'm somehow allowed to do that late. I didn't even need to do it again. Here. I'm sure that we don't even need to. Well, we can even afford it again, but we just done that with normal attacks in the last round. But I guess I didn't have enough foresight to realize that. Enough attention. Well, there we go. Ugh, man, you're tough as nail, Shaggy Bob, man. Go on, do your worst. I'm not afraid of it. Do whatever you do to guys who defeated Fire Flower in the Eye, Pal Block. Or wait, so you got an intervention here. Oh no, Lucky Lulu, I'm actually not even sure how you're supposed to read that. Oh no, like, what What kind of a uh, kind of dialect are they going for with this dialogue in the translation? I gotta wonder. Please have mercy on my poor sweet Lucky Lester. Oh, there you go. 
You call me Lucky Lester. It's Spike, remember? Told you I changed my name last month. Come on now. Don't dead name me. You shit lord. I mean, gee whiz, you're always embarrassing me like this. Although, for some reason, it makes me like you even more. Well, I mean, what? No, did I say that out loud? Forget that. But I have a condition at least making me say these things, so... I was a challenge man to man, so we have to settle this. I have to face the music. I have to let this guy kill me, I guess. Basically what I'm saying. Please forgive him. My lucky Lester was just following Huff and Puff's order, but... If we've been a dick to everyone in this world, we might as well stay consistent. But he's really sweet. Please don't take my sweetie away from me. Hmm. <laughs> Let me try that again. Well, it just loops. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be an ad infinitum thing here, so... We all will forgive him. Oh, thank you. Stop calling me Lucky Lester. Well, it's such a stupid name. My name is Spike. Don't you ever listen to me. I'm beginning to think that this whole deal is stupid. It's working for Half and Puff to be part of something big, but all I've been doing is picking pointless fights. This isn't what I wanted in life, what I wanted was... Yes? I got a question. What in the world are you doing all this fighting for? Oh, I wonder. Myself for world peace, no reason why Spike. <laughs> Let's turn it around. Let's do the rabbinical Socratic thing. Because Spike is a million times cooler than Lucky Lester. It's the dumbest name ever. Oh. This doesn't fit the image of a dangerous rebel like me. You're tearing me apart. Name doesn't matter, man. What matters is this. Better than going I'm going with you, you're the real deal. Traveling around with you has gotta be as cool as it gets. Wait, can't leave me. Please take me with you. Oh. Chill out, you gotta understand. I'm doing this for you, don't you see? I'm going, I gotta be a man. I'll return a much more manly like to. Oh. Okay. I'll wait for you, like Lester, but you'll be sorry if you don't go back to me in one piece. Oh, I think that's a given. You make me worry, I'll take a spiny and toss it into the sky, I guess. Enough of that. I guess I'd better make sure I'm tougher than you by the time I come back. Oh, it's a tall order at this point. See me off with a smile now. How much cuter when you show me those pearly whites. You know, it doesn't really look like she does that anyway with the, the sprites that she has. Now you can have our final party member. Right, like Lester over spikes and lava. While in battle, he can attack by throwing a spiny egg with his spiny flip ability, or attack all enemies by throwing many spiny eggs at once with spiny surge. So he has a ranged attack, and there we go. We're back in control now. How are you doing, Lucky Lester? Can we get better Lucky to by helping people? <laughs> and what does she say if we don't have him out? Oh, she just pretends that she's there. This is Lucky Lester's girlfriend, Lucky Lulu. When they have arguments, she never backs down. What a cute couple. Oh, I suppose so. Boy, come back to me soon, I'll be waiting with a smile. Okay, well, I guess she did kind of smile at the end. Or almost. Call me Spike. Well... I don't think that's gonna happen ever again in this, but since we did just recruit him, we're gonna need his help to navigate this place, as you might have guessed, but let me see. I ride him here, and yeah, we can literally just get across the spikes. Oh, wait a second, so if I pick another fight with the, uh, the bee here, this exact bee, can I actually see the green magic who bird in this again, right? So let's actually get the title this time. There's a green magic Koopa, he's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. I told me to like those green wolves. Very cool. I just ran away last time, so attack power is 3, defense power is 0, and his shtick is that he can magically increase the defense power of others. He looks pretty surly. I guess that's why he's just supposed to be a support thing. Let's see if we can actually kill him this time or if he's just gonna run away again. Oh, he just runs away. How else do you expect that, uh, that encounter to go, honestly? Oh, shit, I got too many... St well, I think I'm just gonna get rid of the, uh, this thing. I don't want this thing. Hope I don't pick it up again when I'm trying to pick up these coins. Or... And let's see, yeah. Now that we have uh, this dude, we don't need to use the bubble flower anymore, and we should be able to go the one place that we weren't able to go to before, I guess, which is, um, northeast. And you do move a little bit 
faster when you're riding him, so... You can just use that to your advantage. Yeah, yeah I, I see the gimmick of this now. We need to... Find our way across with... Uh, not just going from platform to platform, but also... Hold on a second. Like horizontally, but also doing this. So. I'm actually not sure if we need to use the red one for anything. Maybe not. So let's see. In order to get all the way up there, I guess we're gonna have to bring the. I guess we only need to use the red one in case that I can't reach the green one anymore. Looks to me that we're gonna have to just find a way to get on the purple one. That's all the way on the okay, all, all the way on the right, and then make it go up. And I think I might have an opportunity now if I do this here. Yeah, if I. Raise the green one, and then raise the purple one, and get it across. And there's another power block. We, we could try out Lucky Lester's attack on, the, on this encounter, but I don't know how well that's actually gonna work, considering that he's not powered up at all. But... Hey, it's a yellow one. Do you know what? Uh, we don't have that guy scanned either. However, this was not a good choice. So. I know. Guess we haven't thrown into any yellow magic hoopers yet. It's one of the magicians, blah blah blah. Yellow is the new black tinge, you know. I suppose so. What's his gimmick? He can give his companions an electric charge. While his cohorts are electrified, don't attack them directly or you will be in for a shock and surprise. So. Okay, so I guess in that regard, Lucky Lester is probably gonna be good, but we haven't gotten to that point yet. We're just gonna have to kill him first. He gets an electric charge. And that takes care of him at least. Oh boy. Apparently, the electric charge doesn't give him like any normal increased damage, so. Just avoid them with, um... Just avoid attacking them directly, it's not really gonna make that much of a difference. And that's still there, so I guess we'll bring out Lucky Lester again, because... Uh, he might actually be the only partner that we have that's... Uh, able to attack enemies without touching them. With the normal attack. So yeah, like maybe I could say that that Cooper and Parker are kind of like that, but I don't have like actual projectiles, so you just kind of shield it. Yeah, not yeah, that hard, but well, let's try to do that again too. I know it's got your typical clunky N64. Stick controls, so. It's one of those things that makes you wonder. You. But yeah, I feel like since he's not upgraded, upgraded at all yet, we're just better off not. Uh, not really having him out yet most of the time unless we need to. Okay, hold on. Before we go, yeah, I'm pretty sure that if we get up here, we can. get this and give him at least a basic upgrade, I guess. Either that or fully upgrade Cooper or Bombette, so yeah, I'm pretty sure he's my best option. He'll master Cloud9, I didn't catch what that uh, move was. I think it was for protecting Mario. Oh well. But it's super rank. I think we'll, uh, we'll try to avoid getting into another fight with that dude. But we will bring out Gambario again with uh, the Tattles. Green, purple, and red the platforms. I think we got that Tattle already. 
Flower patches bordering this path. Looks peaceful, but there are lots of briar patches and enemies around, so be careful. Let's see. How we can get across without having to go over the spikes. And then there's also spawning Lagatus, which I don't really feel like dealing with right now either. I think I'm gonna pop that uh, mulberry that I have. So I can have that much more HP. I get the feeling that I'm gonna need it in just a second if I remember what's coming here. What happened to the wall here? Looks like it collapsed. This place seems very different from the rest of flower fields. And there's another one of those tracks that's... For whatever reason, only... Plays in like one... Place in the entire game that's in chapter 6. There. Followers of Bowser run the puff of machine. They're continuing their evil plan to fill this fair land with clouds. Bowser and his goons think... Think up the strangest ways to mess with our world. They're really quite creative. We need to talk to them. Or else they're just not even gonna do anything. Yeah, I think we're just gonna stick with um I was gonna say stick with Gambari, but then I realized it's probably a better idea to switch to what if there's this many um like to use around. Hey, what's up? Let's go, come on. We need more clouds. I wanna see this land covered. I'll make them feel the power of my puff puff machine. Leave me alone, man. Can't you see I'm busy working right now? I'm not sure how Puff is the man with the plan, alright. Love clouds, love them. So covering the world in clouds seems pretty cool to me. What about you? You like clouds? You cure that wanted man, Mario. I guess we should have talked to this guy last time. we we'll get him before he breaks the puff puff machine. I think maybe we could have tried to, like, attack the... the whatchamacallits, the, uh, the machine before we initiated that. That might have done something, but I don't know. But let's see. I'm thinking we should hit them with either Chill Out or Star Storm. I feel like chill out would be the more efficient way to like conserve our stuff here, so I'll go for that. Oh yeah, they're all hit. I guess we should probably uh, also go for the Magic Koopa first, since he's the one that's gonna be buffing the others if we leave him around. So that doesn't even hurt. Okay, there we go. That's kind of the whole point of doing the chill out. Here. And now we just kind of uh, try to thin this herd out as much as possible before the effect wears off. Maybe now at this point the eggs will become spinies. They have to do a spe specific move for that, I guess. Alright, I guess we'll clear this guy off first and then we'll use, uh, you know, in order to continue avoiding damage consistently, we'll hit the spiny with what. Now that spiny actually has the potential to hurt us because it's not debuffed. <laughs> Shit. I need to take care of this fucker again. I guess we would have aimed for him anyway just because he's the one that isn't protected with the electric field. And now they're about to die. Which is a good thing because the friggin' debuff that I hit them with has finally worn off, so I can actually take damage now. actually just guarantee that we're able to kill them both in this next round because we can just do one attack and with each attack finish off one of them. So we're not quite a well optimized maneuver there. Still only 12 star points from that uh, in that group though. The truth boys, he beat us but good. And here here's the machine. Look at all those chumps, by the way. Well, Mario, we better do something about this puff puff machine, huh? With the, uh... The, uh... <laughs> ugly pixelated display here that I'm not sure what it's supposed to convey. 
very sea rusty. I guess we can. Oh, we got this. Uh, oh, didn't we? Lapsed. It looks very different. I guess we can just literally start hitting it. Let's hit it over and over, and boy, look at the guts of it. And then just be hit with some. Some rocky horror thing that I was gonna mention, but then this happened. The clouds are It's time for a little sunshine, says the sun. As yeah, the clouds disappear from the background, then it becomes even more watercolory. Kind of uh, another Yoshi's Island type feel with the background, kind of like in the island. The pew sounds back. Who's in control like that? It's someone like me, yeah. And we guess the shtick for each of these uh, characters. The bright rays of the sun, once again I can guess at the sparkles of light on the water. That would sound, sound like it would be painful, honestly. I don't like looking at the bright sun reflections. <laughs> reflections. I just don't like looking at bright sunlight very much, it just ends up giving me a headache. But hey, the sunflower field is about you saved. And of course the sunlight can only add to my beauty. Well, this one is here too. The sun. That heat feels so good. Oh boy. Yeah, I definitely can't relate to this at all. Even being stuck in one place isn't so bad after all. Oh, that would be the worst. Being stuck in one place with the sun beating down on you like that. Like the absolute worst. But hey, we did it. Helping folks feels good. I could get used to this, man. You've been playing Castlevania. What are you doing next? I'll follow you anywhere. Well, we only got like two eighths of our adventure left after this, so hey, the uh, music's changed. There you go. I'm sure this is gonna be like the default flower fields theme from here on out. But uh, I'm sure this also means that we now have everything that we require to uh, finish our bean planting project. There's something here. We got the letter. I almost missed that, actually. Letter to Minty in Teletown. So we'll take another quick look at the, uh, in the background here. Trying to figure out if there's anything else like that, but I guess there isn't. And yeah, I don't feel like getting so much experience from more of these encounters, so I'll just... Sip right on through. track of this yet, but uh, I guess we'll save real quick, because I'm pretty sure we're about to get to the boss encounter here. Maybe I should go back to town, and yes, yeah, I should probably do it, actually. We did a tremendous job. A bit of those clouds so the sun could rise once more. It's so nice seeing my dear flower fields full of light again. After such a long time, there's nothing like the sunlight. We plant that magical beam, don't you think? It should grow well now. I'd say the best place for you to plant it would be over there where you can see the soil. Uh, before that, though, I guess we can have another talk. I'm gonna plant to be in the best places that patch where you can see the soil. But before I actually do that, let's. I don't know if there's gonna be like a hard block straight up ahead, and I'm just like. doing this out of sheer frivolity, but. I guess while we're out here, we can also deliver the letter. I know we'll stop by the toad house. And this way we can also recharge our star power, which is not something that a hard block would do. I'm pretty sure. Now that your body and soul are refreshed, your troubles will seem much easier. Well, we're about to see about that. Yeah, let's bring out Paracarry for a second. Head down here and... Here we are. You're Minty, correct? Name's Paracarry, I deliver letters. I have my normal spiel that I have for everyone. Another letter duly delivered. Who is it from? The wise Whisterwood. Who's wise Whisterwood? Oh. Thank you for making the flowers bloom so beautifully. It's a thank you note. Oh. Please drop by Flower Field sometime. Well, now she can. But how does wise Whisterwood know about me? Oh, I wonder. I'm rambling. It's a small gift to say thank you for delivering the letter. It's uh, yeah, predictably a star piece. It's because of the uh, telepathic network that flowers share, much like uh, that story about how 
Like something was being taught to a bunch of monkeys that live together on an island and then they taught it to each other and then... There were like thousands of them, but when like a hundred of them learned it, all of them seemed to have learned it at the same time for some reason. Let's see. Pretty much safe to say, plant me this instant. Absolutely pollutant free, very good soil and very cold water glitters in the sun. Let's begin. What are you doing? Haven't you ever grown a plant? I guess not. You're planting something in the order is soil, then the bean, then water, even though we didn't get, get it in that order. But I kind of figured. That's gotta be the better thing. Put in the soil, then have the bean consume the soil, and then put the water on the empty space left behind, and there you go. And then we get a bit of a music track that sounds like uh, something out of Donkey Kong 64 or something. Something that, I don't know, David Weiss would cook up or Grant Kirkhope. I'm pretty sure it was, yeah, it was Grant Kirkhope. Then the, uh, it was like the rare composer when the N64 games were coming out. Although I'm pretty sure that David Weiss was still doing stuff for rare. Oh well. But yeah, we made it. We can actually see the top of the clouds now. Even though, you know, having uh, come back from a plane trip just a couple days ago. Really shouldn't uh, underestimate how um, how high the cloud layer actually is, but... It seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointing. <laughs> but just lost sunlight because of the, uh, the beanstalk, I guess. I'm pretty sure the way we climb this is we just step on this and, yeah, just automatically rotates and takes us all the way to the top. Which is very convenient. I do like this callback to the, uh... The hit Nintendo game Hotel Mario on the Philips CDI. Hey you, get off of my cloud. Well, we made it. We're in the sky now. Loading. It feels comfy, but I just don't quite trust it, Mario. Am I sinking? Well, I don't know. I mean, you probably would be if you're going by Mario 64 rules, actually. You kind of fall through the clouds in that, unless you... I should not remember quite how that works, but... I think you can... Step on some of them. I do remember it like the freaking... I think it was called Mario Over the Rainbow stage with the red coins. I vaguely remember that something like that. Some of the clouds are like stuff you can step on and some of them are not, but well, I don't know. I should clearly shouldn't spend time questioning the deep lore of the Mario universe, but we're way up in the air since we're on a cloud we must be close to Star Haven. Oh yeah. Never really gets brought up outside of this this one little optional line of labor text, does it? Yeah, soon we will hit the ionosphere and then we will Maybe actually start questioning why we haven't lost the ability to breathe yet, even though I'm pretty sure that would be an actual concern at this point. Oh boy, what can this be? Oh, we don't actually interact with it, we just run into it. Are you a man named Mario? And did you or did you not break one puff puff machine? What possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plan to cover flower fields in clouds. Even though I, that pretty much had already been done. See, I was gonna turn the sunlight blasted place into a cloud-covered paradise, like... You know, based on the kind of soundtrack that accompanies this dude, I have to imagine that... He has like a stereotypical... I don't know, gang-punk voice, like fucking Black and Lester kind of assumed. I kind of assumed to have. Can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. I was telling you, King Bowser ordered me to defeat you if you showed your face. But I'd take you down even if it were in a direct order. Cloud destroying pest you can't save, Star Spirit. Here comes the storm I accidentally skipped the rest of that, but yeah, big surprise, here's the boss. Huff and puff. Who shall be town now? He's a giant cloud monster. Magic 360, which is just a little bit more than um, what Leg Lester had. Attack power is 5. No defense power though. Thunder attack is very dangerous if you don't defend, you'll take magic damage. I think that's more than 5 then. And yeah, when you attack him, that's kind of a gimmick too here. Little clouds called Tough Puffs come out, their number is based on the amount of damage you do. You the Tough Puffs haven't buffed all them up and destroyed HP, so... 
need to use big brain tactics to beat this guy. I think it's something that we could do in that case is uh, I know hit him with power bounce and then I guess we'll just try hitting with power bounce regardless. Yeah. What's he gonna do now? Do like 20 damage to him there. Not sure how far off I wish to pummel Mario too with permission to attack. Yes, take him. Oh boy. It's the same kind of deal as the uh, the freaking fuzzies that suck with you. In the jungle, right. And what does it just? I guess it does just replenish them immediately after the same round, but... Well, it's definitely... Okay, never mind. I thought we did more damage from there. Okay, I think we're gonna try something a little bit different in that case. Um, actually, hold on a second. What if I attack him first with, like, a normal attack? So I just wanna... Experiment for a second here. Go to the normal attack and uh, does that much damage. Can I actually. Okay. Okay, yeah, you do get a separate try to be for them. These are the top puffs that break all. that break off. Okay, when you damage half and puff. You get 1 HP, 2 attack power, defense power of 0. You fly over and attack you directly, you have to shake them off of you. Shake them off of yourself, I guess is what I mean. They're using the action command, or they'll keep on damaging you. Half and puff will swallow the tough puff to restore the highest HP of being carefully when attacking. You can beat the. yeah. You can beat, like, items or moves that attack all the enemies, which is why I do have a strategy in mind. Right, much to avoid. <laughs> Second. Yeah, much there. I guess right now he's just going to. oh, never mind. He's charging up. Okay, shit. Is that like how much damage I'm gonna take these on the... Oh, how much I... yeah. Well, base damage, it actually still gets blocked, so... I think what I'm gonna try to do here is, uh... You know, the big rain tank in question, which is... Get him a bunch with, uh... Goombario first, I guess, or... Well, a bunch of code and code, and then do this, uh, Then attack absolutely everything move. I can actually... Sustain, and I'm pretty sure I have like a Thunder Rage and I have a um, Star Fee on, on back of Shooting Star. I can also use those if I run out of uh, run out of Star Power, which I probably will. I'm just gonna try to loop like that. Let us um, kind of. Damn it, ongoing strategy here. Let's keep hitting him with this. I'm pretty sure this will work eventually. Now you'll witness the full power of my storm. Even to me, but what are they gonna like? Another normal attack, I guess, but I guess I've gotten good enough at mashing the button that I can avoid taking double damage from that, or two points of damage. Even, so. I guess that's pretty much my cue to try to defend myself. Hold on. I guess I should. Why not? Thanks for giving me the heads up, I suppose. I assume he's gonna do it like immediately the next turn after he charges that up, so. Wow, that really hurt. Caramba, alright. Hmm. Not sure I'll try to do power bounce, even though. Will I though? I'm sure I'll try to do it at least once, and like this is like an actual good idea. At this point, but. Might as well find out. I think they attack a little bit faster when there's more of them. Let's uh, take it there. I don't know if they... Like, if all the damage that he loses is cumulative, I guess it must be. Damn it. Well, well now I know. Hold on. Uh, I guess I can just do one 
please. Moves first and then do the big brain tactic again. I will drop the ball and not get one there, doesn't matter. So now we actually bring out one of these items. I guess we'll use Thunder Rage first, it doesn't matter. What? Not. What's not? Uh, well, they would actually be immune to that. I don't think that was mentioned at any point, but. At any rate, they're gonna like absorb them again immediately, and then they're gonna charge up the. Uh... No, it's gonna do this move, I guess. <laughs> so it literally doesn't matter if I mash like crazy there. Okay, so. Okay, let's. Never mind. This is a normal attack, I guess. I sh you know, I sh probably should, if I'm really doing a big way move, I should just. Uh... Call it. I should just, uh, you know, use an item to restore my FP. I do have plenty of those, but let's do this first. Now, I, I trust that this will work. We've been using like a variation of this attack pretty much the entire time. And there we go. We can, uh, we can, uh, what do you call it? I guess at this point what I'll do is uh, focus so I can get, you know, another charge of that level 2 attack. I'm gonna see if we can get like two attacks, one with Mario and one with the partner of, on him at this point. It's probably gonna be... At this point I realized that I don't have enough, uh, <laughs> enough of P to do this, which is what I wanted. Fuck. My uh, strategy failed there. I guess we'll get rid of one of these at least. <laughs> That's literally the best thing I can do at this point. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll survive anyway, it's not, not, big, not a huge deal. There. Let's see how much damage this does, I guess. Fine. One well, could be worse, that does hit pretty hard, but... Let's see if I hit him with uh, one of these attacks. Right now. And then follow up with... Uh, you know, an attack with, you know, you know. At this point, I realize what I should have done is done the bow attack first, and then use the uh, star storm to finish everything up at the same time. But whatever. Let's see what happens when I do this right now. Is the point? Just hit zero health. Okay, you know, I guess that does count as killing everything. I did it. And for some reason, I don't have any memory of the. Uh, Mechanics of this boss, even though I'm pretty sure I, you know, I beat this game several times. Like I, I don't, even, don't even know how many times before. But I feel like I would remember if I had like this a bit more distinctly. I will. I feel that might have actually been the most complex boss fight that we had to deal with in this entire game so far. Not like super obvious how to deal with it from the beginning and. It feels like that if you don't come in with at least a couple of those items that uh, will help you do damage to everything at once, you might be kind of... Uh, not quite... prepared. Not quite... Uh, have all the expectations that you might uh, be counting on to actually be victorious, but... Oh well, I guess I'll never find out. Not in this timeline, at least. But we did it. We defeated another chapter in this video game. So it is that Mario and party defeat Cruel Cloud, Huff and Puff, and set free the six star spirits. Thick clouds that once cast dark shadows have gone, and flower field is bathed in sunshine again. Honestly, that's the depressing resolution as far as I'm concerned, but... A single star spirit waits to be rescued, waits to take its place. In the star sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon, perhaps. Just wait and see. Kamikuba, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting, too. Or you will try to save them. Only Kamikuba, though. 
It's gonna be ominous in that uh, that regard for no reason. So here we go. Can speaking of peach. Well, there we go. Got another uh, mid chapter scene. I think this might be the last one actually. Now that sneaky parcel I got on that quest show. That complete out of nowhere MacGuffin that we can just use now. I change it to someone else when I use it, right? So I don't think I can use it to get out of here. Why don't you try it out? Speed while facing whatever it is that you need to want to transform into. And yet, this is to be another one of those plot devices that is completely abandoned in... Like any future part of the games or the series. Yep, there's surely still nothing new here, it's just the same old stuff, so let's just get right into it. <laughs> still question, like, how the fuck does this uh, secret fireplace pageant get set up again every single time? Like, nobody ever notices that this is here. <laughs> well, let's see. We can just do this and talk to them to let them know we're here. I was wondering if we were going to be able to like eavesdrop on them, but probably be able to talk to them if we after we use the parcel. Guess we'll have to try that now. That was such a dumb mistake. We can get out of here without being spotted. Yes, I guess they just repeat this to you in case you actually forgot what the button was. But now let's actually do the thing that we're expected to do. Yeah, how convenient. Here we go. Hey, how goes it? I've been working me like a dog lately. Well, say... And that Kami Koopa's building some big thing about Princess Peach's castle. Hmm. Well, this is new information. Bet you it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. Hmm. And this is our room. Patrol, very good, then you can pass through. I don't know why we would go back into our own room, but... I guess we have that option. There we go. Why do we actually talk to him to get that permission and then just completely snub him by going somewhere else? Let's see. I don't think we have any, like, items left over... Well, maybe we do, to put in the chest. Oh yeah, we have jam and jelly. So we have two of these at our disposal right now. Technically speaking. I actually don't think I've remembered to go back to that chest this, uh, like after the, the last peach section. Should be a few things to pick up there. We can pass through, because we can go. I guess we can go this way. But what if we explore other areas first? We want to get as much, uh, squeeze as much flavor text out of this as we possibly can after all. What are you doing here? Get back to your station. Can we could probably choose both out if you find if she finds you here instead of at your post. Well, maybe that's something that I need to be left to worry about on my own. Well, what about this guy? Why do we bother patrolling? I mean, don't you agree? Sure, I know Princess Peach got out a couple of times. But this castle is hovering in the middle of the sky. Where's she gonna go? King Bowser's nervous. He hides it well, though. Well, what about this guy? What are you doing all the way back here? What are you looking at? I'm not looking for the book you think I'm looking for. Oh. Trying to study something. Take this and go away. Oh, there we go. Get another free item. I'm kind of wondering if we press... Okay, if we press B again, we can actually... transform back again. And then take on a new form. Leave me alone. I'm really trying to study. I always get this killer headache when I open a book. Oh. Don't hang around me. Kamiko will get really mad if she finds you here. Because I understand why you're so curious, though. It's not often you get to see so many books in one place. But I admit, sometimes I sneak a few pics myself. Well, there you go. Scathing commentary about the Koopa education system and why, like, most of the nation ends up being militarized. <laughs> That's her main employment. Right, so... Doesn't really look like the dialogue changes, to be honest, but we could need, need to... We do need to, uh... Come a hammer, bro, to do something in this section. 
I don't think that actually changes the rest of the flavor text here, so... Now what if we go down this way first? Hey, why'd you leave your station? Are oh, you looking for your relief? Huh? Get a bull on then. Well, I'm wondering what term they mean that. Stop loitering around here. Well, so who's hiding back here behind this door, I wonder? This is where the game show thing took place, I think it was. It's all gone now. Eh, what about you? Well, I already talked to you, right? This is the kitchen. This is indeed the kitchen. I don't think there's anything new here either. And you know what? I just realized I think I'm gonna try to keep like, going towards the front of the castle, but I also need to remember to go back to the chest room because I can't. Uh, probably shouldn't try to forget to leave the thing, the item that I just got, in the chest. I think we can't actually keep going there. The big luck. Well, let's just get... Go ahead and head back over here real quick. What's in here, actually? I guess this is where Gourmet Guy was hanging out before. Quite a while back, but... Where we want to go back to is this room. To leave the thing shooting star. And here we go. Let's see what lies beyond this door. And listen to the occasional quick air thing in the background. All quiet here. Me nervous now, not me. It surprised me, that's all. Not goofy off, I saw it. Please let the guard in peace. Oh. What about you? Where's my relief already? My shift has been over for ages now. Oh. Could you find that slacker and get him up here? Please, I'm exhausted. Looks like this. Oh, well. I guess we need to find a clubber and transform into that guy. He's probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere here. Take this to find him. Okay, so there we go. We got to. That might actually be our only chance in the game to see that little sprite where the hammer bro is like, I just collected something. Key to the entrance of the castle. I won't be able to get downstairs with that, because I guess I guess normally you would just be grabbing that with the... Uh, while being disguised as a Koopa Troll, so... Be a different thing that you get to see a whole bunch anyway when... When you actually get caught in these sections, but yeah, we did it. On the way to actually continue... Continue on in the direction that we were... Wanting to go in. And here we are. Oh, there's this guy. So sleepy, so very sleepy. Just let me catch a quick nap. But don't tell anyone. This guy isn't gonna move from here. And we can kind of take a look around here. Seems to be locked, you can't open it. Can't go that way. I think that's actually the way to, uh, that links back to the rest of the world, because, you know, spoiler alert, we're gonna be coming up here eventually as Mario when it's time to actually finish the game. Not right now, we're gonna... I'm actually kinda curious, though, if... Uh, why don't we talk to this guy while we're, in, when we'll, while we're undisguised? And just beat somewhere around here close by. Yeah. She literally doesn't care. I had a feeling it was going to be something like that. <laughs> hey, guess what? Hey, it's you. Oh no, just me. Hello, me. <laughs> Literally doesn't care. I'm guessing too that we're not going to get any, um... Any new dialogue. Your shift. Oh, hurry up then. Oh, okay, well, I guess this is different. Because that guy was talking about the relief earlier, so I guess it would make sense that he would be... He would have something different to say, but... Let's just go ahead and get this done.
Nobody has anything to say about our little star bud either, either. It's something that's never really addressed. Where have you been? You took your sweet time. Hardly about time, you're so late again. How do you know how to read the shift schedule? Yes, I'll let go this time, but watch it, okay? Oh, well, there he goes. Good shift, I'm shut enough. Don't goof off either, you're a thin ice buddy. And there we are. Guess we can take a look all the way up here and find out what's going on. what's going on while also <laughs> refraining from doing any comments about how complaining about lateness is something that might be a little too realistic for certain audiences. Oh, hey. Entry is prohibited for unauthorized people, but you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. Well, stupid restriction anyway. About time Kamikuba came back down. Wonder what she could be doing up there, all these construction sounds. Just take her word for it, while there's use. Okay, okay, everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up at all, the star spirits will still be alright. It pays to expect the worst. Well, there you go. Someone's genre savvy around here. You're right, Kamikuba. Hmm. I think I remember this dialogue. It's gonna say, like, Nothing's off about you. You smell nice. That's not normal. We're doing a fine job. <laughs> Keep up the good weight. Something's right about you. You smell too nice here. I remember that bit of dialogue for whatever reason. And there we are. Why, you little... Out again. Catch this little runaway and take her back to her room. And there we go. Here you get to see the... The Koopa Trolls doing that kind of a... Animation whenever they take her back, but I guess you don't really get to see the Hammer Bro do it unless you have that disguise for that particular section. Well, that's interesting. What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Clever. Thank you for saving me. Puff and Puff is gone, so the flowers in Flower Fields can live peacefully once more. Well, that if you hadn't come, Flower Fields would have never seen the light again. Well, that if you would have come, the evil monsters who have CFC emissions in the atmosphere would have won, but how dare you! That's topic. Now there's only one of us star spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Please use my power as you continue your, your fight. Which is what? I don't remember. Is it the sh uh, No, I'm thinking of a power from the second Paper Mario game. Time out, a new star spirit power, which you can stop time and stop all enemies in their tracks. Well, I think that the power that you get from the final star spirit is kind of akin to the one that I'm thinking of from... Uh, Second Paper Mario, where it's just like you can spontaneously just kill all the enemies and end the fight. But yes, we'll find out. If you use mine well, it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle. Don't become overconfident, though. You must be careful about her has power as well. Remember that even stronger enemies await you. Hope our powers will help you so that you may help us. We're all depending on you. I like to Star Haven now. Can't wait to get there. I've been terribly worried about everyone. Yes, it'll be a quick trip to there from the top of the clouds, if that flavor text before was any indication, but there we go. Congratulations, young Mario, you saved the star spirit. Your your efforts, Flower Field is beautiful again. Thank you, Mario. It was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature. Please come and see me again, I'll be looking forward to it. And hey, we did it. Rosie and Lily are always arguing about which one of them is more beautiful. They're both beautiful, why compare? Every flower is beautiful. I heard rumors about many flowers, but I've never heard any rumors about me. Oh, what do they think of me? Are they talking about me? I wonder how it would feel to be the center of attention all the time. Well, you and me both, I guess. Hello there, how are you? Oh, hey, it's actually like closing its eyes and doing like a cutesy face. Enjoying the sunshine as much as I am? No, that's an easy one. I'm going to grow and grow and produce lots and lots of cute little seeds, so... I guess we need to come up with more excuses to send people here. Take care of Lucky Lister, he acts like he's really tough, but he's a bit of a pushover. Well, I think we kind of figured that from what we knew of him. I'll just go ahead and save again, and I guess leave this place. 
Should we talk one more time? Thank you from the bottom of my trunk, are you? It's uh, worth living so long, etc. I'm pretty sure that one line was something that we've already seen, but please come and see me again. I'll look forward to it. Alright, let's go back to Tower Town. And let's see what else we can get done because you know, it took like less than two hours to get that done. So ordinarily I would be like, let's uh, start off the next chapter immediately, but we should damage dodge. Another copy. <laughs> if we're all of these, no, we can't. We can afford like two of these if we're conservative. I think I'll grab this one. I guess we'll grab speed spin now. But yeah, since I started so late, I'll probably just like do the thing that I usually end up doing at this point and just uh, see what the what the uh, what other kind of side stuff I can do now that I finish that chapter. So, Porch on the bizarre interdimensional door. Another world, same story. World populated by flowers lies on the other side of the mysterious door in Minty's flower garden. Like, maybe I'll go to, like, the Shiver City and not actually start going over to the dungeon yet. Maybe I'll do something like that, but... I was no surprise to learn that Boucher's goons were causing trouble there. But guess what? Her own Mario did a little extermination of the pests in that garden. By kicking Boucher's underlings out of the world, he also saved another star spirit. Now that's flower power. And on this side, underground news. X's and O's are hearts. Did you know that? Now there's secrets out. Gossip loving toad. Well, and if you start talking to people around here, they pretty much tell you what you're supposed to do next. Shiver City is far from here in the northern lands. There's snow there always. Ever had to live in such a place I'd never go outside. People up there should wish for warmer weather. Maybe it's none of my business. Yeah, well. I think someone might be a little bit biased, talking about how great the sun is and how awful the cold is. How dare you? Honestly, that's a much better application of that phrase. Somebody was looking for you, he's over at Merlin's house. Oh, I see. What does this, have, this guy have to say? What should I do if something goes down in tow town while you're off adventuring? Well, I mean, something like that happened already. Once or twice. Just got resolved. Eventually. We met the wise toad. Yes, I have. Probably gonna go talk to him again after this, actually. But, how do you hear me? We will actually go to the star summit first so we can, like, grab the stuff out of the chest and maybe trade some star pieces. We have almost. God damn it, hold on. Almost as many as we can. as we need to, like. For the most expensive badges that we get out of that, we get out of that. even though, on, admittedly, I don't actually know how many of those we have uh, left yet. So I guess we won't go over there quite yet. So let's see, got a few letters to read here. Cooper's fan. Dear Mr. Cooper, I must apologize for sending a letter out of the blue. But I had to. I saw you walking in tow town with Mario. Been so strong and brave, so dashing, well. It's okay, I'd really love to have a talk with you. How embarrassing. Bye to you again soon. Good luck, Brave Koopa, your fan. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm thinking... Think of Koops from the second game. Basically the, the Cooper equivalent in that game, but... Like, he starts out having a girlfriend, but I guess the same doesn't apply, doesn't apply to Cooper here. That might be what that's uh, slyly referring to, I guess. Oh boy. Letter to Sushi from Sashimi, Sushi's daughter. I wonder what Sashimi's child will be called if that eventually happens. Dear Mom, first I heard you were lost in the jungle, then I heard you were traveling with Mario. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> right, saw so something weird in the character server now. Don't do anything dangerous. Come back as quickly as you can, I'll be waiting for you. You're gonna be a grand sheep. Oh, there you go. Want you to see the small fry. I wonder what that, uh, that child's gonna be called. <laughs> And like a Lester, predictably from Lucky Lulu. Let's see. Where are you? You'd better be a good Lucky Town return soon. Faithfully waiting for you near the wise Whistler Boot, all I mean. If you don't come back, I'll search for you till the end of time. I'll give you such a spiny storm you'll. Oh, sorry, love, I get mad when I worry. And that's the final letter, so. I guess we can go back there real quick and just talk to her again with Lucky Lester out and see what happens, but. 
Yes, I'll do it right now, actually. So I'll get that out of the way. Always been content just to watch men tea at work. At least that's how I used to feel, but lately I've grown restless. What good is looking at her if I never get up the nerve? To talk to her, she'll never know my true feelings, so maybe I could talk to her up and shoot stars on it. Well, have to convince her to go with you there first. <laughs> Imagine all those flowers, so colorful and happy, turning their faces to the sun. You save them. I know this. Uh, innately, I suppose. Instinctively. So I'm not quite sure why the freaking door ends up rotating like that, but... I don't know if we talk to her again with this guy out. What are you doing, like Lester? You became a better like it by helping people. Why? You don't have to call me like Lester, even though. Literally what the UI even calls me the entire time. But that's why you're so cute. I guess that's pretty much it. So there you are. That little, uh... Damn it. That little matter was resolved. That, uh, very important plot point was addressed. I guess I better keep like Lester out here so I can move around a little faster. Oh hey, what new badges are on sale right now? There's a uh, HP Plus and Mega Quake. Which I think Mega Quake was the only one that I actually had my eye on. The only other one that I actually had my eye on. Let's see. I think what I'll do first is go to the the pipes place. I'm pretty sure we have to talk to someone in the in Merlin's house, like we're told to like maybe push the plot forward a little further, but right now we will go to Google Village real quick and see if we can. Find any new favors, or maybe one or two chocolates or something. I need one more star piece, that's thing. Good luck. Boy. Not very kind of you. There is one thing, I have an old boo friend who lives in Gusty Gulch. Can you go and get a package from him? I may have a little trouble finding him since the boos there look pretty similar, I'm sure you can do it though. Long time ago, when Goompa, Butler and I were traveling, we met the boo and became fast friends. Recently sent me a letter saying that there is a package addressed to me. What are you waiting for? Oh. There we go. Got a new quest. It should be pretty easy to solve. Neat. I'm not seeing anything new here, so... So we'll get right on that. Oh wait, what do you know, this guy actually showed up. Everyone's favorite Quizmaster, Chuck Quizmo. Let's try the quiz. Question. Of the following, who is not a member of the Cooper Brothers? Um... Shit. I think it's blue, actually. Uh, but honestly, I don't want to risk getting this wrong, so hold on a second. Sure hope nothing happens when we take too long to answer this question. Okay. I'm almost entirely sure that it's blue. Yeah, it's blue. Okay. Which is kinda of nonsense because blue is the best color, clearly, as I've been. It's pouncing, it's pouncing this entire time, but here we go. Another star piece has been acquired. That's our thirteenth question answered. Oh, what do you know? That's the, I think the first question in this timeline that we actually, that I actually felt compelled to, uh, to look up. I wonder if that means anything. I'm gonna go to Blue Mansion immediately. Take care of this. Let's move quickly. Lady Bow's absent, etc. Would it look if the Boo Mansion stopped being spooky? Alright, so yeah. <laughs> Not really sure who I'm gonna have to look for here. This favor.
This will try going down to the basement. That might be a good bet. Talk to the one at the shop. Maybe that's who we need to talk to, actually. Peter's making suspicion that it might turn out to be something like that. I'm gonna ask you today. Well, apparently you can't. Okay, so they sell snowman dolls here. How much for? Okay. 15. That's not too bad. I'll just sell life shrooms for 50. That's a little pricier. I think I can actually, like, cook life shrooms with other ingredients, if I recall. We might as well take out all the rooms in the basement and whatnot to make sure that there isn't anything that we're missing here before we head back up. We're really gonna have to inquire with all the booze in the mansion to find out whatever it is we're looking for. another floor or door here. Door on this floor. Guess we'll take the shortcut up there again. Right, are you the one I'm looking for? Take care of Lady Bow she brings the darkness to our lives. Nope, apparently not. I assume that whenever I find this dude, I'm gonna be too. Uh, I don't identify him immediately. Surprised at this point that I haven't been able to find the dude. Was it in Blue's Mansion or was it in Gusty Gulch? I might have to like look into this actually so I don't end up taking a bunch of time. We seem to get in any dangerous situations, also, how heavy you are. Or not. I was begging to protect her. I said, uh, here we go, but now apparently it's just like a. Natural separation in the, in the dialogue here. Even if we don't have anything special to say, so... I'm gonna have to look into this real quick, hold on. I actually don't know who they want me to look for. Unfortunately, it looks like there's even a wiki page for this, maybe. Ooh, okay. So I think we will actually have a chance to complete the rest of these favors that are left now. Okay. Apparently I am supposed to go to Gusty Gulch, not in here. Let's head over there, I guess. But apparently it's at this point in the game when you're able to access the final uh, kind of set of favors that you can get from that guy. There we go. Got a new star piece. That would actually be a good time to like head back over to like Talblobus Castle just so I can try and figure out whether or not the um There's any star pieces left to collect there. Oh hey, the key is here. I forgot that it showed up here. You know what? I need a new secret to guard. Except this time I wanted to want to guard some happy secret, like a present or something. Wouldn't that be the best? Guarding a gift. That's my new wish. I'll take us while we have it. this key here. Ziaki, a magical key. Lucky for us that it spilled the beans about Tell of Lobo's secrets. But I wonder what it's gonna do. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, let's take a quick trip down here into the well so we can to confirm whether or not there's any uh, 
going to leave anything weird left to collect here. <laughs> Guessing that the answer is going to be no robot. And also these uh, Goomba fights are going to be like... Completely fruitless since, you know... Since we're too high level to actually get any more experience out of them. <laughs> so we can try to... Do big fancy moves to avoid him like that, but not entirely. Another one might actually get hurt here. Wouldn't that be the worst? Maybe if we beat all three of them in one battle, we'll actually get some kind of a get like a single star point. I don't think we will though. That work? Yeah, that did work. Use, uh, I think there's some badges we can use to, so we get coins out of that. Badges we can use to like uh, immediately annihilate any weak enemies that are too weak. Just by doing a first strike, but I don't really feel like changing my badge setup just for this, honestly, so let's try to barrel on through. And we'll roll with the punches. Room for for troll there. Clearly the most precious uh, spoils of all. Of, and I'm pretty sure this guy respond. We were already we were already taking care of him when we first came to the river, but. but I'm pretty sure we should be able to avoid the rest of the confrontations here in place. Hmm, uh, with relative ease. You know, a friend played any spooky tricks on you yet? Well, be a shame if you came all the way to, out to Gusty Gulch and you didn't get messed with. Also, you're running an errand for old Koopa Coot, are you? Now, where did I... Well, I wasn't really ready for this. Where did I leave that thing? I'd better go look for it. I should find it soon enough, so why don't you kill some time by wandering around here? Well, actually, that's, that's quite fortuitous, because now we can just... Uh, the thing that I wanted to do anyway, I'll go over to into the dungeon. And if there's any uh, star pieces that we can find on the way there or over there. Changes at all when we come in here. There's all the enemies here are gonna be gone, or at least the ones that kick you out. Yeah, this entire room was destroyed before when we were leaving this place, but. Oh, hey, there's a badge that I guess we never collected. Guess we really ought to try and figure out why not. Over here. That's directly above this place, I wonder. Are all the enemies here really gone? I guess they must be. I still put up in a few by now. Hmm. 
I'm guessing that the guy that was hiding down here before isn't gonna be there anymore. Doesn't make any sense. Like the only thing that I'm gonna be wanting to look out for now is gonna be trying to figure out why I didn't collect that badge before. <laughs> Let's keep this this place in mind. Pretty sure it's behind this door here. So what's directly on top of that room? Only find out by going this way. <laughs> I should really take a drink, hold on. Okay, so here we are. In theory, if we were able to go behind this wall... Let me see. Did I try bombing this wall before? It looks like a big crack right there. Oh, I guess I didn't. I guess I just never found this before. Oh man. I guess we want to... I'll break the one that's in the corner there, in the top right, but I guess as long as we're here, we might as well finish exploring the rest of this place. See if we can't, uh... Yep, it's literally immune to these now. If I can find any other hidden star piece panels or anything like that. You know, at this point I doubt there's gonna be any. Again, I think there was another secret. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we go all the way up to the corner there and you go to, and to the left side. Find a badge that you can only obtain that way. But we already got that during our first visit to this place. This room was just like where a bunch of clovers were hanging out, sleeping. And it's like, yeah, you can theoretically fight all of them if you want, but it's uh, gonna be a big old pain. Let's all save. Still very mildly paranoid that something stupid's gonna happen, but I hope it doesn't. I'd only like two more rooms left to scope out here. Or just one more, I guess. And yeah, it looks like in this entire area there wasn't any... There weren't any, uh... Star piece panels. It's mildly surprising, because I would have expected that, like, you were gonna have to... Like, backtrack back to some areas that... You already explored in like the earlier chapters before you had the um, the option to pound the ground and discover those secret panels, but apparently that might not be the case after all. Like, make it a bit more reasonable for you. I don't remember when I started using the ice pie badge, though, honestly. So, I'm feeling I have to backtrack to a bunch of different places, regardless. Okay, so now we go into the hole in the wall here. And up here, I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go. We're gonna want to end up on top of, yeah, on top of this table. And now we can get this badge, which we missed before. It's D down jump badge. Disables an enemy's defense power and causes some damage. That might actually be useful. I don't know. At any rate, uh, you know, we're trying to collect everything, we're trying to grab all the badges at our disposal, so... We'll have to come back and get that anyway, at some point, if I didn't get it now, so... 
So I'd call this a successful expedition, you might say. And I'll just go back to the blue village back here. A couple of screens down. And I'm pretty sure that the guy that we were wanted to talk to is this guy. Thank you for waiting. I finally found it. I can't believe it took me so long to drag it down. Just keep my regards to Kupakut. Okay, I'll take care. And there we go. The package. Received from Abu. Delivered to Kupakut. Or if that's supposed to be. A reference to something in particular, like the. Uh, Something very specific or something uh, like a trope in general, like the, you know, the tape was at the quest. Right. Okay, we did it. We finished our inquisitive outing. And now we shall return over to the village and see what the... I think at this point is going to be the penultimate favor. And you have after that, might as well take... Take a sip of uh, hibiscus tea, which is way overdue, because... I've been going the entire stream without... <coughs> Taking a sip at all and yet been getting parched. Oh, here we are. David Lava Paranus, you rule, Mario. This is the package that I requested. Ever since my boo friend sent me that letter, I've been dying to know what's inside. Well, I'll find out right now after you leave. Well, I'll take this as thanks. You got one coin and you got another favor. Not very kind of you. People keep talking about something called a coconut. I'm pretty sure we we know exactly where to get those. I don't know if we're gonna have any of those like in the um, store item check, and if not, then we know exactly where to get those. So it's not like a problem. Chuck Quizmo here. He might show up and I go back to the right, though. That's occasionally how it happens. Let's see. So what do we have here? We have all this crap. A melon, which I'm pretty sure we got that from one of the Yoshis in the island. No, we don't have a coconut, but it's fine. I wonder if we should, like, leave something at the shop over at it, but eh. I guess we could try to sell the... in the dried shroom. For one coin? No, we can get a better price for that. Oh, well. Actually, we should... No, that's not entirely... True, we should check something, a couple of things we should check our jam and jellies, or... Check this jam and jelly and also check the jam and jelly that we... are gonna end up uh, getting from the... the cosmic box, or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. The Resident Evil Monster Hunter box, even though. Well, I'm pretty sure at least Resident Evil 1, which introduced that mechanic in the series, came out before this did. It came out in 96, the first one, and this came out in like 2000. Uh, but Monster Hunter didn't start coming out until the PS2 generation, so. Uh, where are we going? We're going to the island. Yeah, isn't that kind of uncanny finding the finding all of these um, boxes that you can put something in there and then the space that they share is shared throughout the universe? Well, like you can find a look like for that box and hit that and see what's inside, and it's gonna be the exact same stuff that was in the other box that looked like it. I wonder how many games have a mechanic like that, actually. I feel like Resident Evil is probably the most famous one, and... 
It's also the fact that, you know, with the Resident Evil crossover event, Monster Hunter has recently highlighted the fact that it pretty much has that as well. With its own boxes, but... Oh, here we go again. Question. How many coins are needed to buy? Oh, son of a bitch. This is exactly what I was hoping I wouldn't have to run into because this is like something that I definitely don't know. But... Let's see. Two Quizmon can ask 64 questions, incidentally. Uh, how many coins are needed to buy mushroom at the shop? Correct answer is... it doesn't tell me. It does, it's just really hard to think that I have. And there's apparently four coins. Apparently we haven't even done like a quarter of these yet, I think. But this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Try to farm all of these out, which I suppose I will because this is technically a... You know, 100% run, so... Here. Great crawling cleft, you're larger than life, Mario. How do you crack this thing? I guess I will try it later. Maybe this to show my gratitude. And this is the final favor, I think. I wouldn't mind getting one of those red jars that they say they were made in the dry dry desert since in Desert Kingdom. According to popular opinion, you can get one of you buy things in a certain order at the shop in Dry Dry Outpost. I didn't remember this bit. First you buy a dusty hammer, then you go ahead and get a dried pasta, and then you get another dusty hammer. Then we get on the other thing. Well, well you have to figure out the rest. <laughs> oh, shoot, I actually don't I don't wanna start wasting money with that. I guess they want you to experiment with that, but... I don't have, like, too much money to spare, so... I guess he just repeats the same text here. Dusty Hammer, ride right past him, and another Dusty Hammer, and then we don't know what the other thing is. I can look into it. Also, thank you for the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits, Redbird. It's just like a... Well, I guess it's like a three-leaf clover. What does that actually say on the... What's it gonna look like in front of Gator Shamrock, right? So... I was wondering if that was gonna be like a... Supposed to be like a seasonal thing. St. Patrick's Day kind of deal, but... I actually don't know when that is. Let me see... Red jar... Yeah, okay. Let me see. I have to sell off some of this stuff, I think. What if we sell off honey syrup? We can probably get a good place, price for it here in this place. Oh, let's do another one of these, I guess, while we're here. Well, there's Merle of Lee who tells fortunes in Shooting Star Summit, I'm pretty sure. It would be Shooting Star Summit. Fifteenth question sort of sixty-four, so yeah, not not even technically halfway there yet or a quarter of the way there yet. Our next question will put us there, but Okay, I'm gonna need room for four things here. And I currently have room for three things, so I'm gonna have to sell off something. Is an apple syrup or honey syrup? I'm not sure, but I didn't realize they sell honey syrup here. And yeah, there we go. That's the hammer, dried pasta. I'm gonna keep the pasta, but... So we're just gonna sell the rest of this crap back. 
one dried shroom. We only have so many choices, I guess. It shouldn't be too hard, but it's still gonna be pretty wasteful if you uh, <laughs> try to do it by yourself. Just trial and error. There's a lot of potential for that, but what ho, I am in that order. It's a secret sign. It was written in an ancient will. In keeping with the will, I'm required to give you this. Please take it. I got the red jar. There you go. Jar of the little master shop. Collector's item, perhaps. Now that we've done that, let me give you the rest of this stuff back, I don't want it. Don't want this. I don't want this stuff, but I guess I'll leave the pastime item check. I have another dried shroom, I just realized that. Ah, uh, fuck, I didn't want to leave that, actually. I wanted to sell that, but... I will take it out again and... And sell it off immediately. the favors questline. Let's see, is the guy back here again? Not yet. But he might be. In the future. Looping Sky Guys, you're a true workhorse, Mario. Incredible, outstanding. And it's a little filthy though. I suppose I'll add it to my collection anyway. Your stand up bag for doing all Cooper's many favors. And there we go. These star pieces, and I'm pretty sure that's it. That's what we're having here.